So now we've set up the metronome, we're actually ready to record, which is great. Um, when you record your track, you're going to hear the metronome ticking away as long as it's turned on here. The first pitch of the bar will actually be higher and then the rest will be at a lower pitch. And this helps you know where the start of each bar is. Um, before you start recording all your rhythms and getting all the equipment and uh, different items together, I'd suggest actually just getting used to recording in time with the metronome in BandLab. So the way you can do that is just maybe take the rhythm from don't clap this one back and listen to the metronome and clap it back in time and record it and just get used to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit record you should now be able to hear the metronome. If you can't, make sure it's turned on there. And I'm going to listen, and then I'm going to wait enough time for me to come in. So I've just done two bars. I'm going to hit stop. So if that sounded really out of time, you'd be absolutely right. That's because you're hearing latency in action. That's the time it's taken for the sound to be captured by your computer and then played back to you as well. When you actually record your sounds, you won't be aware of this and, and it won't affect you. And I can only apologize that for the rest of the tutorial, it's gonna sound like all the rhythms are completely out of time with the metronome. But bear with me for the tutorial and know that when you do that, it won't affect you. But it's interesting to see latency in action.